Today's word of the day is RFID, and it stands for Radio Frequency Identification, and it dates all the way back to the early 1900s. Radar was first developed in the 1920s, and RFID was developed soon after that. And in the next several decades, research was done to fine-tune the technology. Now jump forward to the 1980s, and commercial expansion begins. And this is when things truly get exciting. We see ways to use this in transportation systems, animal tracking, we see it in retail, and now it's really expanding in construction. And I like with all of this technology, it starts to get smaller and even less expensive. And this makes it easier to implement, and we're really starting to understand it. And now let's dig into the technology itself. So there are a few components that you really need to understand. First, there's a tag, and there's even a reader. Now the reader has an antenna and can read the tag. So another key factor that I want you to keep in mind and to understand is the difference between what are passive and active tags. Passive tags, as the name implies, which is really important, waits for a signal from an RFID reader. Passive tags have no internal power source and are limited actually to the distance overall. They're powered from a, this electromagnetic energy transmitted from an RFID reader. Passive tags are typically smaller, they're even cheaper, and they're even flexible. Where if you look at an active RFID tags, they're powered by a battery, and they're continuously broadcasting their own signals. Active tags track real-time location of assets, and this is very important because active tags provide a longer read range but are much more expensive than passive tags. Today, RFID can capture a plethora of data at the construction job site. And this is what you need to know because we've seen really great use cases of RFID in construction. So let me give you a couple of examples where you can track location of materials on a construction, even these large projects that we've seen. So some companies are using it to identify the whereabouts of employees or even your tools. It's even being used on embedded tires to communicate data on pressure, temperature, and even the tread depth. RFID technology is continuing to improve all over. RFID, that's your word of the day. And thanks for watching Construct Tech TV, where we are talking tech at the job site.